Everyone has experienced the anxiety and curiosity around first impression, whether it is for a job interview or social situations or dating. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing fine. Today I'm going to be talking about something that we all experience it's called first impression how to make a great first impression and simple and easy tips that works whether you're meeting someone new at a party whether you're going for a job interview or probably you're going for a first date it is really important to make a great first impression super important and it doesn't have to be stressful so i'm here with simple and easy tips that will help leave a lasting impact on everyone you meet so let's jump right into today's video now why does first impression matter first impressions matter because that is what sets the tone for how people see you from the start and usually we have not usually <laughs> we only have one opportunity or one chance at making that initial connection and it usually happens very fast so why not make it a good one when you make a positive first impression it gets people to trust you like you or want to get to know you and it gets people to have a certain perception about your perspective just basically how people tend to see you is it comes from that saying where they say dress how you would want to be addressed i'm going to talk more about it as we go down the line but yeah that is why first impression matters dress as you want to be addressed is very very important how you want to be perceived is how you carry yourself how you show yourself how you present yourself especially on that first meeting because like i said we only have one chance at making that initial connection so let's talk about simple tips that we could use or incorporate in our day-to-day -day lives that could help make a great first impression first on the list is smile your smile is a very very important asset and smiles are very contagious very very contagious it's so possible or it is very possible that you could see a stranger and where the stranger is smiling at you and you're compelled to smile back not because you have any particular reason or you're being forced you just feel compelled to smile back to share in the smile and you as well if you smile you're also sending a message of you know um message of warmth and you know you being welcoming so yeah smile is always such a great asset to have as a great first impression because most times you hear people say oh you have a beautiful smile you have a beautiful love you know things like that tend to leave an impression on people and smile brings good energy and everyone loves to be around good energy and i know that there are instances where you smile at people <laughs> you smile at people and they don't smile back or instead they even proceed to give you attitude and make the situation way worse i understand that certain situations like that happen but don't make it redefine how you go about life or how you present yourself always have your smile with you regardless you're smiling not because you want it reciprocated you're smiling to make the other person feel welcome feel safe and feel comfortable around you so even if in those rare instances you smile and someone doesn't smile back or the person even goes ahead and gives you attitude don't worry don't take it to heart just never stop smiling when you see people you know because sometimes life can be so overwhelming that it's not that the people don't acknowledge you or they don't want to smile back it's just that at that point in time what is going on with them blinds them from everything that makes sense or everything that is currently happening so someone could be looking at you and life could just be dealing with them in such a way that they don't even acknowledge your presence in that instance so yeah let's not tend to hold it against people in as much as first impression is really really important it is also really important for us to show people grace because you can also meet me on my very bad day or the worst day of my life and it's very possible that if my emotions get the better part of me you can meet me outside and the first impression you have of me would cloud your judgment about you or change your perception about me it doesn't take away the person i am but you see how powerful a first impression is that sometimes there's nothing i could do to say to that person or convince that person otherwise it would take that first meeting with me as 
what sets the tone for how they see me till forever or maybe perhaps it show a little grace or maybe forgive i don't know but yeah in as much as it is important to leave a positive first impression it's also important to show people grace because like i say sometimes life can be so humbling that you can see someone outside and their body is there but their spirit and mind is not there so yeah smile number one number two is making eye contact i i think a lot of people or a number of people find this really hard or uncomfortable but i would say making eye contact gives you confidence and it also shows your interest in that person or what the person is saying so it is important to always make eye contact people love to feel seen people love to feel valued so when you're making the eye contact it just shows the person that you are interested in what he or she has to say or in that person depending on the situation or whatever the setting is like so yeah good eye contact is very important but it has to be warm natural subtle you know just something to show that you're listening you're actively paying attention don't go staring into people's souls or looking at people to the extent that they're uncomfortable you know just make good healthy eye contact especially when the other person is talking or when you're talking so you know yeah good eye contact very important the next would be be present and listen i think a lot of people as well find this one hard and i can promise you guys that there is no message there is no call better still there is no business opportunity that few minutes out of your life would affect you in such a way that would be so bad and detrimental to you like just learn to keep your phones you know learn to respect people's time learn to value people's time and people's presence very important learn to value people's time and people's presence when someone is talking to you it takes nothing to keep your phone you can go ahead and do everything you want to do but that few minutes from your life would not make it i promise you regardless of how busy and how you think it's in your head it's not what it is it really takes nothing so you know keep your phones for just a few minutes have a one-on-one -on -one conversation be present you know actively be present your phone is always going to be with you your phone has always been with you so just this few minutes would not make a difference and people love to feel value people love to be seen people love to be heard so it just leaves or makes everything super um a good feeling overall you know the vibe is set right the energy is right and what you need to understand is people would always go to where there's a positive or good energy and good spirit no one wants to go to where it is draining so we should tend to always be present and listen to people just respect people people's time and their presence you can even go ahead and ask them questions about what they're talking about so they can see that you're really interested in what they are saying and yeah there's no one on earth that doesn't like to feel heard seen or valued so that is also a point or um a tip that could really really help you in living or making a first positive or great first impression the next would be exchanging courtesy and showing respect guys first impression matters and first impression doesn't stem from you knowing who the person is or what they are made of guys it is really important to show respect and all these things i'm mentioning they take nothing from you and they cost absolutely nothing to you i anyone it costs nothing and it takes nothing from you just learn to show people respect learn to express humility like it takes nothing for you to greet an elder it takes nothing for you to greet a younger person than you like just learn to greet value respect people regardless of their race their gender who they are what they've been able to achieve who they are in the society like just let's just learn to live so because when i'm meeting you for the first time whether you're a billionaire or not it doesn't have any effect in my life at that point in time it's after the first impression that maybe perhaps all of this could matter but when you're making a first impression in fact in an instance where life is situated in a way that you never know who is to help you you don't have the control over who you're to meet in the future and you don't get to pick 
those who are assigned to help him it doesn't work that way so it is really important to show humility to show respect and courtesy it takes nothing to greet someone when you see the person you don't have to wait for the person to smile at you you don't have to wait for the person to wave at you you don't have to wait for the person to greet you even if the person might appear to be younger than you it doesn't matter it is really irrelevant in the grand scheme of things so please just learn to incorporate respect and you know showing courtesy in general the next would be act of kindness act of kindness for me i would say this is the number one or the most top of my list act of kindness you don't even need to say a word like kindness goes such a long way you could meet a stranger today and compliment that stranger on how they look how they talk their accent how the sound just anything and you will not believe how long such compliments will stay with people and uplift them or just set the tone for the day for them sometimes there are days where you're having such a bad day and you come in contact with a stranger and the stranger happens to show you an act of kindness you realize that it sets the tone for your entire day sometimes even beyond that day each time you remember you smile you know your heart is full of gratitude you're just so happy and grateful that you happen to meet such a person so yeah act of kindness goes such a long way long 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 way incorporate it in your day-to-day -day. always be kind you don't have to know this person you don't have to always expect something in return just do it because you want to do it from the depth of your heart do everything freely and it will come back to you times 10 but that's not the point just do things learn to do things freely show kindness let me share a personal story with you guys this happened a few days ago if i'm not mistaken two or three days ago I was coming upstairs i got full and it wasn't big i just held everything in front of me like this and i was walking and just as i got to the door i met a stranger and the stranger happened to open the door we didn't want exchange pleasantries nothing he just happened to open the door i said thanks and i kept it moving do you guys know that roughly one or two hours later i went out to get something on my way back i happened to see this person and this person was coming with a box as well just as I got to the door so i opened the door and the person passed and also said thank you and that is just you know that moment or that situation just left me feeling so good you know in a way that see how shocking it happened that when i was coming he helped me and it so happened that when he was coming i also helped him on plan and not a word came out aside thank you and thank you now that is someone that if i see outside it is impossible for me not to say hi to that person or i happen to meet that person in a situation where that person needs my help it's impossible for me to not consider even if i can't help to not consider that person and it will not be that big of a deal for me if i'm in a situation that that person happens to be the solution to my problem it will be so easy for me to approach him and me not um having that worry that oh maybe because he doesn't know me and the rest you know so it really goes a long way because even before i had come back you know it just left me feeling good that oh i didn't even have to and the person could see that it's not like i couldn't open the door but at that moment in time it took him nothing to open the door he did and then it just so happened that life made it that one or two hours later same thing happened in the opposite way so yeah it just leaves a good taste in your mouth and, and like i say most times when you leave a positive first impression people tend to trust you like you or want to get to know you more a few more tips i'll be adding would be be yourself do not try to impress anybody do not try too hard just be your genuine self authenticity always wins people over it doesn't have you don't have to go out of your way to do anything just be yourself if you think being yourself will not leave a first impression then perhaps maybe we should go back <laughs> we should take a few steps back and try to work on ourselves but if you be yourself if you can just be your genuine self you will not have anything to worry about or be in your head overthinking it just be yourself the next would be dress for the occasion you know you have to dress in a way that you're confident and you're comfortable if you feel good it always shows those all those talks of oh don't judge me by how i dress you cannot judge like i find it as a very very silly and unintelligent excuse because 
it is very very um it is just normal very very normal for people to judge you based on your first impression you know so no matter how free-spirited you are if you mean business when you're going to a place that requires you to be decent then a place should not even require you to be decent you should be decent all around all around there should be decency you know don't go dressing in a degenerate manner and say people should not judge you by how you dress that's just a very very uneducative excuse please dress how you want to be addressed if you're going for a party you can dress as you're going for a party if you're going for a business meeting dress like you're going for a business meeting if you're going to church dress like you're going to church you know so please just try try and dress how you want to be addressed don't dress like someone who is uneducated and then gets offended when people classify you or have this perception that you are an uneducated person or uneducated people so please it's very important dress how you want to be addressed don't let anyone lie to you that how you dress or how you appear doesn't matter it really really matters and it plays such a huge role and what we tend to forget or a lot of us don't know is that most times people who people who know better or people who know what is right or have principles when they come in contact with you they don't have that patience or time to tell you oh i don't want to do business with you because this and you know they just go silent and they just keep it moving so maybe by adventure when you're doing something with someone and the person just suddenly goes ghost on you or silent it's because People don't necessarily have that time to tell you or give you reasons as to why they can't work with you or why they feel more comfortable with that. They just keep it moving and go to the next person who they think can give them what they want to do or can do what they want to do. And it still boils down to perception. Yes, there are times where um, referrals and the rest, but today we're talking about first impression. So it really, really matters, guys. Please, you can just try your best dress how you want to be addressed don't let anyone lie to you and then my last example would be stay positive just remain positive regardless of the situation the setting the gathering the people you're around the people you're with it doesn't matter just stay positive whether you're shy whether you're nervous stay positive positivity goes a long way positivity good energy people tend to be attracted to those so positivity will go a very long way for you so there you have it guys making a first impression as important as it is it doesn't have to be complicated it just has to do with you being genuine friendly and showing interest in the person or what they are saying that you're going to meet and remember just be yourself make eye contact smile and stay present and i hope these tips i've been able to share with you guys if you can incorporate it into your day-to-day -day life it would really really go a long way for you so i hope you are able to learn one or two from my video and if you enjoyed this video or this video resonated with you please don't forget to like this video if you haven't give it a thumbs up share subscribe you can connect with me on all my social media platforms to see what i'm doing and get to know me more but before we go guys let's get into what i've been watching this week the first on my list would be trap guys that movie is you just need to give it a watch trap you can find it on streaming platforms it's not on netflix but guys it is and the rating is very high super super interesting and so much action and then the next would be the killer they are both thrillers if i'm not mistaken but guys super super interesting and they are both recent movies and both of them can be found on streaming platforms they are not on netflix but they are 2024 very recent very interesting action packed it's just all around very interesting and i just started the perfect couple on netflix i don't know if anyone has watched it or anyone is watching it let me know what you think i've started it so far but so far it's just waiting 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 it's a bit slow <laughs> i'm a bit skeptical if i should continue or not but yeah that's what i've been watching this week for what i've been listening to <laughs> guys i've just been so so busy 
so busy with life that i haven't had the chance to listen to songs so that's why i haven't been uploading on the playlist but so far if you're here you can check out my playlist it's called my playlist for just nigerian music and then my playlist too is every song that is not nigerian just go there give it a listing and sometimes i could add what i'm listening to sometimes i listen to songs album by album other times i do create a playlist so i get to share them with you guys i share shorts every day on fittingly and then i have so many videos so many contents for you to binge watch enjoy share with your friends let's keep the conversation going and thank you so much for joining me once more and i'll see you guys next week bye